Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create very simple lower thirds. So, let's start. First, I'm going to create a new composition and I'm going to use 800 for the width and 160 for the height. I'm going to change the name of the composition to lower third. Then I'm going to turn on grid and I'm going to click on view and I'm going to enable snap to grid. Then I'm going to click on the rectangle tool and I'm going to create a small red rectangle um, right there. Then I'm going to change the fill color to dark gray and I'm going to create a second rectangle and then I'm going to change the fill color to be a bit lighter and then I'm going to create the third um, rectangle. Okay, I'm just going to make this a bit darker like that. And now I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to press S and that's going to bring up the scale property. Now I'm going to click on this stopwatch and that's going to create a first set of keyframes. Then I'm going to move five frames forwards by pressing um, page down five times. And then I'm going to create a second keyframe for this layer. And then I'm going to move um, 20 frames forwards like this by pressing shift and page down twice. And I'm going to create a second set of keyframes for um, these two layers. Then I'm going to uncheck the constraint proportions box for each layer. And now I'm going to start changing these values. I'm going to change this value to zero for these two layers. And I'm going to change this value to zero for this um, layer. And now we have a weird animation that looks like this. Now I'm going to offset these by four frames. And then I'm going to offset these by um, eight um, frames. So now I need to um, click on the pan behind tool. And then I need to move um, this anchor point um, down there. Then I need to move this anchor point right there and this anchor point right there. And now this already looks better. Now I'm just going to select all of these keyframes and I'm going to press F9 and then we're done with the animation. So now I'm just going to rename this shape layer um, to text one. And I'm going to rename this shape layer to description. Um, I'm doing this just so I can stay organized because now I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate them. I'm going to move them on the top and now I'm going to start adding text. So first I'm going to click right here. I'm going to change the font size to 75. I'm just going to type the text. And then I'm going to click down here. I'm going to change the font size to 40. And I'm going to type in the description. Okay. And now you can turn off the grid so that you can adjust um, the position of the text. Now you want to put um, these two um, layers on the top and you want to put the um, description text underneath the description layer and the text underneath the text layer. And now you need to select these two text layers and change the track mat to alpha mat. And now if I do a RAM preview, the text is being revealed um, with um, these rectangles. You can turn the motion blur on or off. It's up to you. 
I think that this animation looks uh, better and more natural um, with the motion blur uh, turned on. So now I'm going to create the main composition and I'm going to use the HDTV um, 1080 preset and you can put your footage inside of this composition and then you can import your um, lower thirds you can change the position and if I do a quick cram preview you can see that this looks good but there's one problem um, this lower third only animates in if you want it to animate out then you need to split this layer in the middle and then I'm going to delete the rest of it. I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl V and I'm going to move it right there and I'm going to right click I'm going to click on time time reverse layer. And now as you can see these lower thirds animate in and then they animate out. If you enjoyed this tutorial then please give it a like if you would like to see more then you can check out my channel and subscribe Thank you for watching and see you next time.